Hey everybody! Hey! Good to be back! Great to be back! Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, oh my God. Let's talk about it with Nay and Jay. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. <laughs> Let's talk about it with Nay and Jay. I'm Nay. And I'm Jay. And this is Let's Talk About It with Nay and Jay. Okay. Um, we're going to first say that we don't own the rights to this music that you hear in the background because we don't want YouTube coming and singing anything in or Facebook, okay? Right. Um, we have a topic today Ooh, that... It's a good one. It is a good one. That our brother-in-law gave us. Yeah. And it is... Are you dating on your level? Oops. Are you dating on your level? Bella, are you dating on your level? Do you know what your level is? Tell the people. Do you know? Y'all meet Bella. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> hey do y'all know what dating on your level is? Because you do have a level. Yeah. We yeah. all do. We all do. Um, what do you think he means by dating on your level? Coming from him, like I said, he's kind of intellectual, so... He, he needs more stimulation, so I would say for him, it's to a woman who stimulates his mind, somebody who can stimulate him, uh, maybe because he has a house, cars, things, maybe that type of stuff. I mean, just all different type of things what could be his level, so we just have to pick and choose what our level is, so I don't know. What do you think he's talking about? Well, I, I think he's talking about all that. I think that dating on your level means are you really dating someone that you're compatible with? Yeah. You know? That's good. Um, yeah, that's good. Yes. Is the compatibility there? Yeah. Um, do you jive? Do you guys, you know, mesh together? Yeah. Um, my favorite show what? is Pretty Woman. Oh, now, he, mm -hmm. she totally was not on his level. Uh -uh. She was a <laughs> She was a prostitute. To the yeah. Love he that. was a businessman. But he fell in love with the woman of the night. Ooh. So does really dating on your level mean success? Does it mean yeah. finance? Does it mean materialistical things? What does it mean? Mm -hmm. What's your level? Can you fall in love with somebody that doesn't have everything that you have? I'm pretty sure you, most people do. It I'm happens. pretty sure they do. It does. Huh? Yeah. It happens. So what's your level? Am I being unrealistic with my level? Am I don't have a pot to piss in and <laughs> throw it out of, but I want a multi-millionaire okay. man? See? That right there. What about that right there? What say? What you got? What you gonna say? Oops, sorry about that. What? 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 I don't what? Think. Okay. I always was told if you wanna look for someone who is compatible to you, you need to go to places where they're compatible to you. You ain't gonna find if you're looking for somebody that makes a percentage of money or. Intelligence work. You got to go to them places. You got to. That, that's what I was told. I don't know how true it is, but because I ain't never went to uh, looking for a billionaire at a what's that a liquor store? Be <laughs> I'm just saying. So I think is you got to surround yourself with the type of person that you're looking for. To me, okay. what do you, I don't know. It's no, that's no, hard. no. I think you're. I think you're one hundred percent right because. But I also think that sometimes you can meet a person in the most unparticular places. Oh yeah. I you know, true. you could be yeah. at BLO and he might be like, "I'm going to a party, so let me run in here real that's quick." True. And I see a liquor store. Hey, let me just run in here real quick. Yeah, that's true. And that's true. you that's two true. lock eyes and boom, there you go. It happens. Um, you could be going to the grocery store. And meet so the man you, of your life. So would you set okay? So would you set your standards looking for a millionaire? Like would you? Would you? I mean, like right now, would you be like, I'm not talking about. I need a millionaire. 
Yeah. Yes, I would. Yep, I would. And now, are you saying, do I think I deserve a millionaire? I think, yeah, I think I deserve a millionaire. No, I even though I ain't millionaire. You deserve one. Even I ain't millionaire status. Right. But I can hold the conversation. See, I think See. sometimes... That's it is really just yeah it's just really like okay he's a millionaire uh, what do I have in common with him you know uh, what what could he possibly want with me you you don't know sometimes millionaire people just want a human being and most of them that's what they want yeah they just want somebody that's gonna appreciative a little bit appreciate them be appreciative yeah. of maybe the things that they can do mm -hmm. some of them might be trying to buy you I don't know you know uh, what was that show with Demi Moore and oh yeah? What was oh, that show? Gosh. What was the name of that movie? Um, oh, I can't think. Of, I know it's where he about. said, "Let me be with your wife for one night" or something like that. And it's the, it's, uh, what was, proposal. I the proposal. Indecent proposal. proposal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, you know, that was good. So I'm just saying, you know, yeah. Are you dating on your level? Just know what your level is as far as like. You gonna go out and get somebody today, you know, a bum on the street, and you got everything to offer, and he can't give you nothing. Right. Yeah. I mean, when you're dating, what are you looking for? But if you sit back and think about it, we're sitting here, and it seems like a hard question, but it's, it's not. But it's not. We, but it do, is. But do we even think about what our level is when we're doing it? I don't think so, because I know I don't. I think don't. We do. I know I don't. I just I, I take a person at a face value. Yeah. I think we we don't we don't do it. We just don't. But I wonder why. Okay, and I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But sometimes people are taught it. Some people are taught to be on a certain people's level to get the certain things that they need. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't taught to be on a certain type of level, you're not gonna know about being on a certain type of level. See what I mean? And I mm -hmm. think as I'm sorry, black people, my, 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 my mom, she just said, um, she basically said, don't depend on a man. Oh. Don't do this, don't do that. But she never said, and not depending on a man, get you a level and get on it and then find a man on it. Kind of like your stature. Or up above it a little more. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't hmm. really taught that hmm. to get on, to have a level and someone be on my level. I just be, you meet somebody and you say, well, at least he got that, at least he got this, well, I got this. Okay, it's all right. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I that wonder, one. okay, that brings up a good question because I. This shouldn't be that hard for us to answer that, and it is. It is. It is because I think for black women, we don't never want to come off as being uh, materialistic right. and or a, like a gold digger or, you know, needy or just usury. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that when I look at white women, when they date, they date with a mission. Oh, they got a mission. They want a hood, they want kids, they want a house, they want a car, they want a damn thing up north, they want it out. And they, they get And it. they get it. And we settle for less. That's why I said, if you're not, if you're not, I'm not saying every black person, if you're not raised to want more and to get more, you're not going to do it. Only if you get old enough to know by then, you don't got around so much and your mind's a little screwed up, then it's hard for you to uh, distinguish which is which and what is what. When you're trying yeah, to that's find, true. Yeah. So, I don't wow. think, I just like, um, how they have them arranged marriages. <gasps> They're on their levels. They each are on that level. They're on the same level. They want somebody that's got something going on. Okay. They want somebody who's going to build something. Okay. You know what I mean? I agree. So, I maybe agree. our black community, I'm sorry, y'all, we should have arranged marriages. Because we made Well, we did have arranged marriages well, some back in the day. Yeah. But that went out with the, that went out. So, that brings up something because, like, my favorite show. Is what? Um, what? Oh God, I just had it now. Um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it right now? But it is um, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to it because I can't Eddie think. Murphy's no, 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 no. Oh. It's a show that's on. It's a, it's a reality TV America's show. Reality. No, oh, okay. No, it's okay. A, it, that was an arrangement. Well, no, it wasn't. He was supposed to have an arrangement, yeah, but, he, but he didn't. He chose himself. But no, it is. Um, oh, I can't think of it right now. But basically, what it is, it's like an arranged marriage. These people meet each other mm-hmm. on their wedding day, oh. and the expert. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Match yeah. Them. And I can't I think of that. the name. I love that. Sh- you know what? I would do that. I would do that. I really would. I would do it if it ever comes and back then to they Minnesota. Hang out a little bit, and then at the end of the thing, they see if they're going to stay married to each other. Yeah. They, they get married, and they only that they meet they, eight weeks. They never, yeah. They meet mm-hmm. one time, and then they marry. And then no, they don't even meet one time. Oh yeah, they meet, and then they they marry. meet at the, the wedding. altar. Yeah, they meet at the altar. What is the name of that show? Why can't I think of it right now? And it's my favorite show. And I just watched. But anyway, them. two of them stayed together. There's a lot of them that yeah. that have uh, that have done. Lot, it. So uh, it goes to show you that sometimes the level that you think you want to be on with somebody mm-hmm. is not it. Mm-hmm. Um, you're looking for something that's kind of unattainable. Maybe yeah. that's the word I want to say. Marry that first sight. Yeah, that's what it is. I, it is going to take me a minute to think of what it was, yeah. y'all. Married at first. Married sight. at yeah. first sight. I would do married at first sight. Somebody should reach out to them, and bring it to Minnesota. Because I think they've been to Minnesota before. No, I just. I my think first they've been to Minnesota. Before. Look, married at first sight. If y'all, I would be on your show. Okay, I because my dating life sucks. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, my dating life sucks. I don't know how to pick a good one. So I need you experts to come and, try and do a show in Minnesota and let me be on the show. And here's the thing, I'm a, but you got to do it for people that are 50 and up because I'm, I'm, I'm 50. Now, I don't want no 85-year-old man. I'm only willing to go down. To wheelchair, I'm only going down five years. We want to be spinning the wheelchair when we push right. it. <laughs> don't be changing no diapers. Right. Just saying. You know, I still got some youth to me. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have some things going on. But yeah, married at first sight. I would do yeah. married at first sight because I think that those people are on a level of finding true, true love. love. Yeah, they are. And they're they're gonna put at any means too. necessary. So mm-hmm. sometimes the person that I've seen, um, they didn't have a job. <laughs> they had lost their job, and the other person had, and they, but they still went through with it. See what I'm saying? So, what is really dating on your level? I think it's just knowing what you want. Yeah, it's knowing what you want. What do you want? Are you looking materialistically? Are you looking for somebody to take care of you? Are you looking for somebody to pamper, That's shower it's you? It's so hard to answer because it's a it's a broad perspective. You, 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 it's, it's big. You don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a level. That's my opinion. You don't think it's a what? I don't think there's a level to having a relationship when it comes to me. I don't think I have a level. You don't? Mm-mm. I mean, I don't want a scumbag, but I don't think I have a level. But then that's where, a level. You have a okay, level. Okay, well. Yeah. You don't want somebody, like you said, just uh, pick somebody off the street. So you have a level. Okay. Not I just think that we were always taught you to kind of dumb down a little bit. Okay. Um, as women, as black women, you know, you just don't go after a man for his money. You don't go after a man for his look. But men go after women for looks. Definitely. Men go after women for looks. And some go after it. And money. men go after women for money. Don't come over here because I don't know. There's a few know. men. There's a few. Uh, my three daughters. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. Go ahead. They, money. Hello. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. They love to pay. Hey, nothing they wrong with it. feel like if they're a better person. I have jaded below my level. Mm-hmm. Be honest. Mm-hmm. I've dated somebody that didn't have as much as I had because I thought I could build them up that's, that's you know <laughs> and, and when I say dated maybe you know I, that's the problem we I, I chose men that didn't have as much as I had you know um, I'm sorry I just can't have a man that don't got a lease apartment in his own car th- say that louder what his own apartment in his own car you got to have something and there's nothing wrong and with I that. And I don't, I'm sorry, the bus riding and the car fix been in the goddamn shop for 20 days ain't gonna get it. <laughs> no. No. You can't do it? No. <sighs> Brother can't be on bus pass, mm-hmm. CTA, yeah. Metrolink. No. <laughs> 
Pat and Turn? No. Do y'all even know what Pat and Turn is? No, I, ain't, I don't need them walking. I do enough walking. Pat them feet, yourself. turn them corners. I do enough walking myself. I need yes, a car. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm too old for that. I may be in my 20s, even in my 25. Yeah. <laughs> but not in my 50s and none. But I, like I said, though, the lady, That's I crazy. like pretty woman. He took a woman that he knew was a woman of the night. And he basically saved her, but he also taught her in the end, mm-hmm. he showed her a better lifestyle and he showed her her self-worth. He showed her she did not have to live this way, you know, and she's smart mm-hmm. and, you know, you got some goals and you need to just, you know, mm-hmm. That's true. work in them. So I think sometimes, I guess for me now, I would want to date someone above my level. I would, I would want to date somebody above yeah. my level. I would want to date somebody that had a has more. more than me, whether knowledge wise, definitely knowledge wise, mm-hmm. um, financial wise. Yeah, that's okay. Um, structure wise. Uh, I talk to some of my girlfriends and they always say, you know, if I date a man, if I'm here, he got to at least be here. You know, I don't know if y'all can see that. You mm-hmm. know, he can be a little underneath her, but he's got to be able to come up and then surpass her. And then they come up more. I'm like, okay. Okay. Now you here, and he way down here. That's going to take a while. You all see that big space in between us? That's well above my face. I don't got time. I don't either. No. I'm not dating that. No, I don't got time. That's the problem. I don't want no baby. No. I I don't want no man that all you can offer me is slang a lane. And if y'all don't know what slang a lane is. I I do not. I'm just going to. Uh, well, I'm just saying, I it, when you get older in your age, you don't want to deal with no bull crap. So I don't need no, I don't want no man with no babies that if they ain't grown, I can't deal with you. I don't want no baby mama drama. But that's what I'm saying. I don't want no, none of that. I don't want no itty bitty. Baby. First of all, if I'm too old to have a baby, no itty bitties. Move on. I'm gonna show you the type of baby I want. Here, there's my baby right here. There's my baby right here. There's my baby, baby. okay? That's all I want right there. When you got a baby at this age, you need your ass whooped. (laughs) You in your 50s and 60s and you birthing still babies, you need your ass whooped. No, that comedian never had kids. Well, whatever. I don't want to deal with you. I'm not. Mm -mm. That's too much. I want, I want someone, like I said, that's... Uh, so, you know, level doesn't always just mean... So, I don't want to say it like, you know, level doesn't always mean materialistic right. things. You know what I'm saying? Level just means the comfortability as to where you are structurally in your life. That's My good. mother used to say that to me. That's good. You know, structurally in your life, what do you want? Do you want somebody that can you can be compatible with? Yeah. I can't say I, I, I I'm like you I don't want babies you can have children because I have a child well I but, said you can have a grown up but he can be grown yeah. on their way out the door like going to college right <laughs> can fend for themselves so well, when you, we're traveling I like have grandkids I kind of that, that just be like I got grandkids I'm not trying I'm not I can't do if a man came to me talking about having a baby I would probably punch you in your throat well if he brings some with him trailing that goddamn corn just trailing <laughs> can't be little ducklings behind you. I'm sorry. I don't want it. I can't deal with it. Go My niece is. She said to me, "Say, like, Dee you mean tell me you wouldn't date a man with kids? I'm grown, baby. I'm traveling." Worldwide, when you get older, yeah. You, okay, you I want to go put my feet in the sand somewhere on somebody's That's right. beach. You gotta make sure you're telling those the guys that you meet you got kids because I want to travel. I'm not. I'm not second baby mama, boo. No. You know, you got to let them know. That's why you got to let them know. Yeah, I, I agree. No I like a man that has intelligence, whether... You know what? I'm be honest. Go ahead. <laughs> that looks like a devilish face. <laughs> <laughs> you know the old saying that all good girls like bad boys? Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with a bad boy. I, li- I don't like a thug. No, a bad boy. You know what a bad boy. I like a little rough neck. A roughneck is different than a thug. Yeah. Okay, I like a roughneck. I like a man that can put on a suit, dress it up, but Ooh. you know, still got that swag with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But know how to work and hold a job, yeah. and take care of business, <laughs> and know how to protect me. There's a difference, right? 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and and don't put no hands on them. You know what I'm talking about? Put the hands on what you need to put the hands on out in them streets. Right. You know, but know how to maneuver around in these streets. Right. It's a difference. It is a difference. So I like a, I like a rough neck. I like, a, I like a man, you know, that got that little, you know, give me that look that like, edge, hey. Edge. It's called that edge. They got a little edge. They got a little, they got a little edge yeah. to them. I like a man that, you know, make, make a little mysterious. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I want a pump. Oh no, we don't have that. But I need a man that knows how to travel. With no kids. No kids. No problems. So then that makes me That's think no like, kids. would you date a man that has a background, like a record? Um, the eyes have been prison. on the record. It depends on what the record is. I'm sorry. No, but why are you sorry? I'm just saying. It depends on what the record is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's for murder, capital murder, cutting off heads or something. No. <laughs> if it's for somebody defending himself and he shot the body, baby. But it has to be, you definitely need to know what he went in for. Mm-hmm. You just can't date Hannibal Lecter and think it's Hannibal Lecter. Okay. Lecter. okay? Damn. You just can't. No, I don't want him to There's Lecter. a lot of those, though. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I don't, so, I don't yeah. know. I mean, you. So I just think your level is what you what do you like? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like some women like men that they can control. Some women like men that they well we just talked about being an enabler. That they can, you know, take care of, that they can control. I'm just saying. I don't I I've never wanted to control a man, but mm-hmm. I I need for him to listen. That's and understand what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to be your mama. Hello. I'm not trying to be your mama. I'm just be just your giving mama you in some bedroom. information. Be your mama in the bedroom. You can't figure it out. I done figured it out, so I'm let me give it to you. But you know, it is what it is. So. Let me stop. I ain't gonna do nothing. I heard you. Yes, she is. Don't she act like she ain't a freak in the sheet. Come on. Quit playing. I'm not. Yeah, I'm right. Not. I'm not. This pretty this pretty face <laughs> ain't innocent. <laughs> But we can that's a whole right. nother level, honey. <laughs> but no, and so you know what? That but that's good. You know what? Okay, so I'm glad she said that because I think that when you talk to somebody of opposite, opposite sex, you need to understand sexually where are they? Oh yeah, that's true. where are they? That this is what I'm saying. True. This this that that's brother bro- talked about dating on your level. Are you dating someone that wants menage a trois? And you know you don't. Or the back door. That ain't happening. <laughs> that door shut for life. <laughs> you are not going to the back door. Get it through the front. <laughs> Maybe a little dog style, but I'm just saying. You know? That ain't in the back door. I That's said, not in the back door. I just said the back. Shoot. But Ooh. I'm just saying, That's like, That's you know, very, you, very you, these are questions that I think uh, you like a lot women, of sex or little sex. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one, because I know her. <laughs> you don't talk about... I ain't going to put a business out there. But I think <sighs> as we don't talk about this stuff, we you don't like talk to, about it. You like to swallow or you going to choke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what do you like? You got to ask people. You got to ask. No, really, I'm serious. Be up front, that. honey. Ask them. Right. right. Do you polish the trophy? Ooh. You know... Are you a woman? Because I was a woman. No. 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 She wasn't. I was No. You can go around putting balls in your mouth. You Who do that? I told her it was okay. It is okay. But I'm just saying you just can't put random. Oh, uh, no. Balls in your mouth. You can't do that one. Who does that? Uh-huh. That's, that's, that's treat. No. That's, uh-huh. that's, that's special little, you know, <laughs> little something, something. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> You can't be out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, well, he cute, girl. I mean, you know. Ooh, come on no. now. So th- I'm saying you need yeah. to know what level mm-hmm. you are on. Look, y'all, we grown. So let's be yeah. honest. Let's talk about you stuff know, the that's crazy real thing stuff. Is this people are afraid to ask for what they want in the <gasps> beginning of the relationship? Tell them what you want in the beginning, and then if there's no misunderstanding, if you think you can handle this and want this, it's, then you won't be going through all that. People need to tell you what they like, what they want, 
and a lot of people don't because they want to please that person at that particular time. Then when it comes down the road, you don't like sucking dick. <laughs> Polishing the trophy. You don't. You just go all the way to that. <laughs> oh, you oh, don't you, like. You sitting here looking at it like, what? Well, what's that? Yeah, you don't. Put that on you there. need to tell. You need to tell that person or that want the man or that woman exactly what you're looking for. Right. You do. If you know because you want your down you down the road, road stroked. Down the road, down the road. And if he decide he don't want to do that, then you might have to think about it. That's something I want to deal with. That's just like telling somebody. You don't want gravy on your chicken. <laughs> but they're going to put gravy on your chicken. But they put it on there anyway, and you're like, I guess I'll eat the gravy on your chicken. <laughs> I keep telling her I don't like gravy, and she keep giving me gravy. Exactly. So you want to, you're going to get you frustrated. Gotta tell people what, you got to tell person yes. what you want. Yes. In the beginning, don't wait until you get three, four months down the road that you're doing some stuff you don't want to do. And then when he come up and throw it in your face, you look like, uh-uh, get it back. Wait, what you say you're doing the dodge? The duck and yeah, dodge? Uh-uh, like, don't do that. Well, why you keep asking me to do this? Right. Because she's throwing it in your face and you don't want to do it. Right. Don't, don't. put that wop on you. Then you can't be mad at nobody but yourself when he says, uh, you know what? You was doing it then. What happened? I got to go. Mm. And they do that, and so do women. I got to go. Mm. I know a lot of women that like the munch, munch, crunch, crunchers. Munch, munch. And got the crunchers? Yeah, I, and I some of them crunchers. don't want to do it. There's men that don't. There there's are. men that actually don't. And there's don't. nothing wrong with it. And that's what they want. And if you can't deliver, they're going to move on to the next carpet cruncher, she said. So carpet ask munchers. for, let them know what you want up front. There yeah. ain't no misunderstanding. I mean, you like a little chokey choke? Right. Hold on. You like a little butt yeah. slap? Tell them. Tell them what you want. <laughs> Tell them what you want. Man, you like to be blindfolded and whipped cream on your nipples? Tell them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you like. <laughs> Bark like a dog. Yeah, you know, like a big dog. <laughs> whatever you like. I can't no. be the whatever you like woman. No. 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 I stop you in your track. Uh-uh. No. That's why I tell him up front. If you, if you not <laughs> a cat. <laughs> Y'all, that's my dog. I'm here. <laughs> she listening. Yeah, she um, I can't be, you know. Oh, God. I was going to say something. I can't be the yes woman. Check your card. Uh-huh. Check your card. Oh, it's right there. It's oh, like 27. What is it? 27. Yeah. Oh, the time. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. We have a side conversation. Ooh, 6.30. Five minutes. Okay. So, the thing is, know what you want in your relationship. Yeah. Ask. Ask, are you dating really on your level? Ask, yeah. are you willing to... What are you willing to accept? What are you not willing not exactly. to accept? Are you bowing down, dummying down to be with somebody or pretending to be more than what you are mm-hmm. to be with someone and you know Whoa. good god dang well you don't have none That's of those credentials. One. So we're going to talk about that too. That's good. Um, mm-hmm. You know, yeah. just lying through your teeth. Through your your teeth. teeth about to fall out your mouth because they ain't even yours. You're gumming. Yeah. You're you can't chew your own food. You ain't even telling the truth. So yeah, that's what true. is your level of yeah. dating? What do you want out of dating? Do, know what you want from the person that you're looking at. Mm-hmm. And can they deliver mm-hmm. what it is you're asking? That's true. Don't make yourself miserable and damn sure don't make them miserable. Yeah. You know, because... Oh, that's true. That's real. Yeah, that's because good. then, that's you know, everybody's unhappy. Yeah. And now you've scarred someone mm-hmm. and you're scarred even more. But so like you, you said, you weren't being honest. You weren't. You weren't being honest. I knew damn well I wanted a dog, y'all. And she foiled. I knew I did. But I tried to not come other dog, he died. Yeah. But I need to know, does this man like dogs? Yeah, because you do. D- does he mind the dog sleeping in the bed? Is the man a dog? Oh, shit. That's that. Yeah, bad. Oh, was you a dog? Hmm. Did you bark at everybody? Hmm. Was you pissing on every woman's leg that you stood next to? How many relationships have you? Get it in. Ask questions. Ask questions. You got to. This you your look life. Look into my eye. That's your life. I'm telling y'all, quit playing stupid Ooh. and quit trying to control other people. Be honest. If you don't like something, say you don't like it. If you need something, say you need it. That's what they said. Honesty is the best. What you got? So know your level of dating. Know your level. Know your level. Don't try to date Mr. 
billion dollar man and you walking with one shoe and a limp. Ooh. She said it. She said it. A shoe and a limp. Shoe and a limp. That's very true. He might want to buy you some more shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It can happen, people. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. Anything is possible. But know what you want and go after it. That's yeah. what she said. Date yeah. with a purpose. I'm dating with a purpose. The purpose is... I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't put all, right. all my goodies out there right. yet. I'll get back just to you. Just know what you want. Know what you Say want. it up front. Don't leave it out because anything you leave out, they'll fill it in for you. How about that? And you might they not might like not the like fill-in. I know I don't sometimes. Mm -mm. I know I didn't a lot of times. I'm just saying, relationships, you know, sometimes they get a little sticky. And stinky. <laughs> yeah, sticky and stinky. That's true. But on that but note, life. we got a lot more to talk about. Um, yes, if you're all wondering, I'm still May. I just cut all my hair. Rocking that short She looks lock. gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Yeah. Give me you that, give me that sass, <laughs> babe. So wherever my I'm husband is, I'm trying to think of something. Do this. I'm you, think of something. you will, and you need to find out too on your level. Does men like short hair? Do he like long hair? Oh. Do he like no hair? Do he like thick women? Do he like skinny women? Do he, he like, like women who can cook, women who can't cook? That's a lot it's a lot of levels to what you want, but don't deviate off of your path. Yeah, just to yeah, accept a man or a woman because mm -hmm. she look good. Don't think you can you can change her. Do you want to cook? Do you want to make the bed? Do um, you want no. all that? If no. you don't, don't find somebody who wants you to do that because you ain't gonna do it. I'm be on happy be making gonna the bed do it for two days and then that's it. <laughs> I'm be making the bed cussing. Right. <laughs> I'm be in the kitchen cooking, burning up shit. <laughs> shit, I cooked it. Girl, I'm telling you because I was trying to talk you to somebody. Me. Okay. Oh, Is she Susie God. homemaker? Mm -hmm. Susie don't live here. Is she the bend over queen and let you do it? You, you need to find out. You know? Is he Susie stingy? Don't live here. Look, is he stingy with the ding -a -ling? You need to find out. Is he stingy with his oh, money? money? You know, is he stingy with doing chores? Does he only expect Ooh. you to do all the Ooh. chores? You know what I'm saying? Does he have gender roles? Does she have gender roles? What's your level? Man, Come on, Belle. <laughs> what the hell is your level, man? What the hell do you want from me? Right. You want kids? You don't want kids. You want to adopt kids? What you want to do? You want to come across the street? What we want? You got to know your level. <laughs> do I expect really? you to buy me? Drinking, we drinking Kool-Aid no, today. Cool. Look, I told you, I'm all up in your Kool-Aid today. I'm all up in your Kool-Aid, baby. I'm, I'm king. We in the Kool-Aid today. I ain't, yeah. Y'all can play with you want to. I'm not, I'm asking <laughs> Do you love your mama to come and stay with? What do you want? <laughs> Do you want your grown ass kids living in the house with us? What you want? Girl, just be Especially not on my shag carpet. I'm just saying. No, mama. Your mama can come visit. Visit all you want. We can come visit. Now, visit if she's sick, want. that's different. Okay, we ain't even talking about that. We but talking I'm about just for saying, real. Your mama can't live. No. No, your daddy. One mm. woman in the house, and it's gonna be me. Ain't no mama, mm -hmm. ain't no sister, ain't no none of that. Mm -mm. You come visit. You got a week to stay. You stay that long, you, uh, you got, I'm dead serious. Well, I got sick now because my cousin lives with me. And that's not the same. I'm talking about. Because she ain't going nowhere. That ain't, that ain't your boyfriend's mama, though. No. I wanna, do you, and do you respect your mother in law and, and oh, in laws? Lord, Lord. You know, I, can you get along with them? Or do you just want to be. We got to go, ladies. Home. We can talk about this all <sighs> night. Gentlemen. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> We can talk about this all night long. Know your level of dating in a mate. Yep. Know what you want. Men and women, know your Please. level. Ask for what you want. Ask for what you want. Or ask for, don't be afraid. Yes. I mean, that's why relationships fail. And don't be afraid to walk away. Yes, that's a good one. Don't, cause he's so cute, girl. He's so cute, though, girl. That slang lang is a thing, girl. Man, she got that bomb cool, man. I, man, but she smoke, and man, you know she don't want to pay no bills, man. But damn, you know she be putting it down. <laughs> so does the next one, and they treat you better. So let's that won't smoke and will cook. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't me though. <laughs> Okay. Well, well, with y'all. Anyway, okay, y'all. We gotta go, but yeah. welcome. Thank you for sticking with us 
through this COVID mess. You know, we we went through. We we both had COVID, not together at different points. I yeah. caught it in March and was really really sick. And I caught it in July and was really sick. And but, nobody wants it. And it is real. It is real. Yeah. So please, y'all. This is our PSA announcement. <laughs> Wear, Wear your, your mask. mask. Wash your hands. And stay safe. And we want to see you again. We want to see you guys. We want you to stay. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And let's get our ratings going, people. You know what? And we got more stuff to talk about. Awesome. So just let's talk about it with Nanny Jay. Toodles. Toodles. See you guys <laughs> in the next one. Miss you all. Thank you so much for your love and care. Thank you.